Okay, Mr. Witwicky, you're up. Sorry, I got a lot of stuff. Okay. For my family, Jean. Who, who did who did that? People. Responsibility. Okay. Um. So for my family genealogy report, I decided to do it on my great-great-grandfather, who was a famous man, uh, Captain Archibald Witwicky, very famous explorer. In fact, he was one of the first to explore the Arctic Circle, which is a big deal. In 1897, he took 41 brave sailors straight into the Arctic shelf. This is freezing faster than it's melting! Chop faster! Please, man! Please! No sacrifice! No victory! We'll get to the Arctic Circle, lads! So that's the story, right? And here we have some of the basic instruments and tools used by 19th century seamen. <laughs> this here is the quadrant, which you can get for 80 bucks. It's all for sale, by the way. Like the, uh, the sextant here. $50 for this, which is a bargain. These are pretty cool. These are my grandfather's glasses. I haven't quite gotten them appraised yet, but they've seen many cool things. Are you going to sell me his liver? Mr. Witwicky, this isn't show and sell. It's the 11th grade. I don't think your grandfather would be particularly proud of what you're doing. I know. I'm sorry. I just, you know, this is all going towards my car fund. You can tell your folks it's on eBay. I take PayPal. Cold hard cash works, too. And, and the compass makes a, a great gift for Columbus Day. Sam. Sorry. Um, unfortunately, my great-great-grandfather, the genius that he was, well, I'm going blind and crazy in a psycho ward, drawing these strange symbols and babbling on about some uh, giant ice man that he thought he discovered. Okay, might be a pop quiz tomorrow, might not. Sleep in fear tonight. 50, 40, Sam. 30. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Pretty good, right? Uh, I'd say a solid B minus. A B minus? You were. Hawking your great-grandfather's crap in my classroom. Now, kids enjoy... Look, can you do me a favor? Can you look out the window for a second? You see my father? He's yeah. the guy in the green car. Okay, I want to tell you about a dream. A boy's dream. And a man's promise to that boy. He looked at me in the eye. He said, son, I'm going to buy you a car. But I want you to bring me $2,000 and three A's. Okay? I got the $2,000 and I got two A's. Okay, here's the dream. Your B minus, dream gone. Kaput. Sir, just ask yourself, what would Jesus do?